What do you think? Are the most haunted and creepy objects in the history of humankind? Or have you ever encountered a one? Well, there is borderline between haunted and psychology. Some religions believe in demons and ghosts. They believe that they travel in a different dimension and cannot be seen with a naked eye. But they can possess different forms and can come in several shapes and sizes. Changing the morphs and possession is not easy. Not anyone can become a target of these unearthly creatures. Though it is believed by several religions that people with weak faith can become an easy target. These are because our brains let our thoughts overwhelm us and make illustrations that are hard not to believe, and we fall into the vicious cycle of believing that there is something that is haunting us. But sometimes it's not the brain. Sometimes the fact that some place is cursed or abandoned might actually be haunted and is a habitat of some unearthly, uncanny creatures, whose presence you cannot see but feel. But what makes them possess different objects? They travel in different dimension and sometimes witchcraft or black magic is done on a simple object and the object works as a medium and it becomes cursed. Black magic exists and consequences of black magic are not good. It is mostly done to connect some unholy spirits to someone or something. In today's video, we would be talking about some of the objects that were cursed and haunted. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Number 1. Robert the Doll it is allegedly a cursed object and currently kept in East Martello Museum. It was owned by Robert Eugene Otto. He was four years old when the doll was gifted to him. He was seen to be attached to the doll and gradually some insidious activities started happening and he also was seen to be talking to someone, giggling on his own. Sometimes the furniture of his room moved and other paranormal activities were plaguing their house. They believed that the doll was cursed and they banished the doll from their house. Since then, it is kept in a museum and people all over the world come to see this doll. It is to be said that gradually his soul is fading and his color is vanishing. The keeper of the museum once said that you cannot take pictures of Robert the doll without his permission. Number 2. The Hands Resist Him Painting This painting was prepared in 1972 by Bill Stoneham. It is also believed to be allegedly cursed. It is kept in the Haunted Museum in Las Vegas. They acquired the painting in 2017. It is a painting of a small boy and a doll-like girl standing across a glass-paneled window. This painting is said to be cursed because whoever owned it, their family was plagued by a series of unorthodox and paranormal events. Some said that the objects in the painting move on their own and change their positions, and sometimes they hear muffled voices at nights, like someone is lurking in the house. Number 3. Annabelle Doll Annabelle Doll is a voodoo doll and was supposed to be cursed and a medium for black magic. It was possessed by a dark soul who haunted a family with its presence. This doll is currently kept in the Warren's Occult Museum, Connecticut. This doll possessed many souls and poisoned many families. Number 4. The Dye Book Box The Dye Book Box was owned by a Jewish woman of 103 years. Before selling it, she asked the owner to never open it. She mentioned that this box was bad news and never to be opened. It was supposed to be put as an antique decoration. This box was put on an auction on eBay and the owner who bought it opened it and the spirits who were trapped in that box poisoned his family. Shortly, his mother had a stroke and horrifying events started happening. Currently, this box is kept in the Zach Baggins Haunted Museum, Las Vegas. It is saved there since 2003. Number 5. Thomas Busby's Chair Thomas Busby's stoop chair is counted as cursed and since 1972, it is prohibited to possess this chair because anyone who sits on this chair faces bad fortune in the form of death that seems inescapable and inevitable for anyone who sits on it. Thomas Busby was a sick person and was extremely sensitive about his chair. He murdered his father-in-law who sat on his chair for a short while. Later on, he was sentenced to death for his attempted murder. Number 6. Anna Baker's Wedding Dress Anna Baker was a daughter of a distinguished father they were rich and she fell in love with a simple man who wasn't up to his merit. He was an ordinary steelmaker and his father forbade her and made strict orders that she cannot marry him. Anna Baker died in 1917 and the dress she made for her wedding was left hanging as a decoration in the mansion. People say that after her death, the dress was seen dancing by itself, the arms were moving like wind was passing and hem of the dress fluttering in the space. Number 7. The Crying Boy Painting this painting was made by an artist, Bruno Amadio. He painted a series of paintings of babies and children crying. The painting was liked by many people and several copies were distributed all around the world. But an incident happened and all the paintings were getting burnt by themselves. Some people think that this story doesn't hold any validation and is false. Number 8. The Woman from Lem Statue Have you ever owned a weird statue that actually feel like cursed? 
Well, this statue is supposedly believed to be a narration of fertility goddess, but it is also called as the woman of death because all of the owners of this statue died shortly after owning it. Number 9. The Bassano Vase The Bassano Vase was made in Italy during the 15th century and it seemed to be cursed because it brings bad luck and death to all of the families that own it. It was put up on an auction and the owner who bought it died shortly afterwards. When the incidents became prominent, the police forbade the auction, this vase and planned on burying it so no one can find it and buy it. It was said that there was a unique attraction to its silveriness that tempted people. It was an antique. Number 10. The Tall Man Family's Bunk Beds These beds were brought by Deborah and Alan for their kids. They bought a piece of furniture which was cursed or possessed by some unearthly creature. They were horrified with the events that followed up. They used to see shadows lurking in their house, muffled giggles and voices. That piece was cursed and they made sure that no one can use it, so they burnt it. 